Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to address some last minute news from Navi. I just recently released a video telling you guys my general thoughts and opinions on Navi. Well, it seems AMD has addressed my biggest issue with the cards, which is the pricing. Just to give you guys a recap, I stated that the 5700 will likely beat the 2060 across the board on most games and will also likely either beat the 2060 Super or be very close in performance. The 5700 before any price cuts was already cheaper than the 2060 Super to begin with. I also mentioned the 5700 XT was likely going to beat the 2070 across the board but would likely be slightly slower than a 2070 Super, but also be selling for slightly less. There have also been some benchmark leaks from a Polish site showing the 5700 and the 5700 XT against the 2060, 2070 and their Super variants. I'll get to those in a minute though. As I mentioned before, I truly do believe AMD will really start pushing for the high end with Big Navi. These 5700 and 5700 XT models are likely rushed lower end models AMD is planning on selling, which was my biggest issue with the pricing. These two models are likely placeholders while AMD prepares the big Navi cards for later this year or 2020. These cards are packing a relatively low amount of compute units compared to their GCN counterparts and are absolutely killing it in performance. I would not be surprised if AMD sneak launches a 5800 XT with 44 to 48 compute units before the year's end that sits in between the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. I can definitely see AMD launching a big 60 plus compute unit 5900 model in 2020 to compete in the high end against the 2080 Ti or anything new Nvidia has launched by then. Now let's get to the price cuts and the leak benchmarks. According to a video cards leak, the 5700 and the 5700 XT will be getting $50 removed from their original price. The 5700 XT will be going from $449 down to $399, while the 5700 will be going from $379 to $329. Which is kind of funny since I left a comment in my last video saying that if the 5700 XT was selling for $399, it would be a much better deal. Then I start doing some reading today and I see the leaks showing AMD planning a price cut before launch. This is an excellent move made by AMD. The 5700 cards would have had a much harder time selling with their original prices. I truly believe AMD is onto something big with the new RDNA architecture. We really needed a new architecture to start closing the gap with Nvidia. GCN was really starting to rely on pure brute strength to keep up with Nvidia towards the last couple of years. They started adding more and more compute units just to be able to keep up with Nvidia. I find that the price cuts are most definitely welcome, but me personally, I would have liked to see the 5700 sitting at 279 and the 5700 XT sitting at around 349. But I am definitely not complaining about a $50 pre-launch price cut either. It definitely puts them in a much more appealing position. Now let's get to the leaked benchmarks. A Polish site recently leaked some Navi benchmarks comparing both the RTX 2000 models against the new 5700 cards from AMD. Just as a disclaimer, these are leaks so take them with a huge grain of salt. With that being said, I have a lot of the cards shown or have had them and the numbers seem quite close to my personal benchmarks. Let's start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p running the highest settings. We see the 5700 being faster than both the 2060 and the 2060 Super. The 5700 XT is also faster than a 2070 but slightly slower than a 2070 Super. At 1440 we see the same results across the board. The 5700 does tie with the 2060 Super but everything seems to scale pretty evenly. Also, feel free to pause the video if needed. I'm going to be going slightly fast through this. 
In Far Cry 5 running 1080 ultra settings, we see the 5700 beating both the 2060 and the 2060 Super, just like in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The 5700 XT is also beating the 2070 and is right on the heels of the 2070 Super with only one FPS difference. In 1440, the results are the same with all cards scaling very evenly. The last leaked game is Wolfenstein 2, which shows quite different results. In Wolfenstein 2, both the 5700 and the 5700 XT struggle even against the 2060. This title has always ran significantly faster on Turing, so this title might not be indicative of overall performance. The last and arguably most important slide is the power consumption. The power consumption of the 5700 is lower than the 2060 Super and slightly higher than the 2060, which is expected since the 5700 will likely be significantly faster than the 2060 overall. The 5700 XT consumes less power than both the 2070 and the 2070 Super, even though it sports a higher TDP or board power draw which is quite amazing compared to Vega. The new RDNA architecture brings huge performance increases per compute unit while maintaining power consumption that is on par or even better than Turing. We still have to see how well the compute units will scale compared to GCN. All this brings me to a point some of you guys have made, the blower style of the card. I would have preferred them to have had a dual fan setup, but I do believe they will run significantly cooler and quieter after seeing these power consumption leaks, especially since they are using GDDR6 opposed to HBM2. So there will be no contact issues or junction temperatures to keep into account. The overall die size of the card is also significantly smaller than Vega, so these cards will likely run significantly cooler as well. Overall, great news for Navi. In my opinion, I would have liked to see them another $50 cheaper, but definitely a good move on AMD's part. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.